here's what we have an automatic locking soft shackle so it's a soft shackle it's just a loop with a knot in the one end and i'll show you what we can do with this automatic locking soft shackle and then i'll show you how to make it so i have an air hose here that i want to tie up and keep secure so we're going to take the knot through the loop and then we're going to put the knot through our adjustable prusik knot loop and then we're going to basically just pull out the slack in the rope until it's taut and with the adjustable loop you can do that very easily and i went the wrong way no nope, i went too far it's fine so I'll show you what this looks like on this side to go a little too far. So it needs to come right back to the end of the original loop right here. And once it hits that point, it becomes a friction knot and it locks in place. So now you actually have a handle that you can hang this up with and it locks in place. You can see the friction loop there. And to undo it, we just pull up here and we loosen it. So we come back down, lock in place. If you want it a little tighter, you can loosen this up. Pull back on our adjustable just a little bit. And then there you go. And there we go, it stays in place. And it's nice and tight. All right, so how do we make it? Take this back off. You can put this around blankets, uh, sleeping bags, or even um, harder items uh, as well. It'll lock pretty much on, on anything. Um, so this Prusik knot, we'll go backwards here, is just a quick loop. And what I do is usually measure a hand width on the original rope and maybe give it a little bit, another inch. And then you do a simple overhand knot to create that, that loop. Now your soft shackle knot, and again, this one's longer, you can make them shorter, but the longer they are, the more useful they are for different size materials. But if you know you're gonna use it for something smaller, you don't have to make it this long. Same, same idea, it's the same loop basically, um, but I do a figure eight knot to give it a little bit more substance on the end here, make this knot a little bit bigger. So the figure eight come around, instead of going through here on the first turn, you wrap around the standing end one more time and then put it through. And that gives you your figure eight like that. All right, so you have these two loops and you take your Prusik knot, which is a friction knot, and we're going to wrap around the blue rope three times. You could probably just do twice, but this is used for climbing. Um, and usually they recommend three. Again, you could get away with two. So you can see, you can adjust it and then you can pull and it doesn't move either direction. And that's it. Thanks for watching.